Every believer has a voice, and it's the voice of victory. My God has made a way for me. Hello, everybody. I'm Kenneth Copeland. This is Gloria Copeland, and this is our daughter, Kelly. Praise God. And aren't they pretty? Yes. They're just gorgeous. Thank God she looks like her mother. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> <You're so kind. laughs> Praise you, Lord. And uh, all last week we talked about don't ever compromise the Word. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I repeated a number of times what Oral Roberts said to me over, and I heard him preach that majestic sermon, The Fourth Man for Jesus in all 66 books of the Bible. Just, it just kind of take the breath out of the room, you know, particularly when he preached that in the tent. It was, oh, it was just magnificent. I'd like to have that on video. Wouldn't you love to have that on video? You got influence, see if you can get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see if I can find it. And, uh, oh, it, it's just, oh, just a wonderful thing. And he said so many times, Whatever you compromise to keep, you will eventually lose it, particularly if you're compromising the Word. And we have to remember, and, and I, I don't ever want to go into, into any teaching session without remembering that this is a book of covenants. God is a covenant-making, covenant-keeping God. Show me the Bible. Huh? He just highlights a good part. Show them your Bible. <laughs> well, that's, and it's, it's pretty strong. You get over in the book of Hebrews and it's, it's just all marked up. But uh, I've just about worn this one out, but I don't want to give it up. No, you can't. You anyway, is. and um, that these are blood covenants and the blood of animals, then in the blood of a man, Abraham, his name was changed from Abram to Abraham, and the H was Hashem in the middle of his name. And so that, it, it, and, it, and his name was Abraham forevermore because God entered covenant with him. And the whole idea of a blood covenant is the lesser being blessed of the greater, which brings the two onto an equal standing. So the blood of Jesus, when we became new creatures in Christ Jesus, through His blood, then we became on an equal basis with Him, with our Father God. And Jesus said in that, in that great covenant meal, the, the Seder meal that changed heaven and earth, right before He went to the cross, he said, whatsoever you ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. Praise God. Now, those are blood-backed words because before the next day was over with, he, he, was, he, he was in hell, suffering three days and nights. And um, for those of you that try to figure it up, make it work, it doesn't work if the Sabbath's on Friday. It was a high Sabbath that's mentioned in the Gospel of John. So instead of Friday, it began on a Wednesday night. Now, it doesn't change anything, but it's good to know that because that, that's, well, it's important. Jesus said, he, he said he would be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. So it has to be that way. Anyway, now, what we do and what we settle right here at the beginning of the year can and should establish a base, a scriptural base and foundation for the rest of the year, which will help you go into 2023. Yes. Did you notice last year where Tony Bennett did his final concert at, on his 95th birthday. Mm -hmm. Well, if he can do it, I can do it. Hey. Certainly. I mean, I'm 85, so that's only 10 years for me. 
<laughs> Glory to God, well, hallelujah. I don't know that'd be your final. I mean, no, but not final, but I'm, I'm going to go on beyond that, but I'm not going to quit at 95. No. But I'm, yeah. I'm going to think about doing some kind of some concert when I'm. You can do your final one at 120. Though. I'll do that. Praise God. <laughs> we'll put it on the calendar for you. <laughs> yeah. So, now what then, according to God, is the most important thing in the full armor of God, he said, above all taking the shield of faith. Faith is, faith is the connector. But faith works by love. So now we must establish the fact that love is king and we're going to stay on the love line for the rest of our lives, but we're not dealing with the rest of our lives. We're dealing with this year. <laughs> this is not a New Year's resolution. This is a commandment. Yes. So first of all, turn with me to the book of Galatians. And we will look. Well, let's just start from the very first verse. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty. Glory to God. Now, that, that talks to us and speaks to us who are citizens of the United States. And we need to stand fast and stand fast for liberty in the United States because the people that are attacked the most by the devil are the ones that are the most dangerous to his kingdom. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. And there's still more gospel being preached in the United States and around the world from this country than all the rest of them put together. So this is still a gospel preaching nation. That's right. Amen. And we stand fast in that liberty. Yes. Praise God. Mm -hmm. So, behold, I, Paul, who used to be Saul of Tarsus, and his name was changed when, Jesus, when he entered into salvation covenant with Jesus, say unto you that if you be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to do the whole law. Christ has become of no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, you are fallen from grace. For we th through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. So we just start right off of the bat. So if, shape up or ship out. Yeah. <laughs> don't, 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 shape up. Don't ship out. <laughs> Glory to God. Now come down to the 14th verse. It'd be, it would do you good to, to read all that down too there, but for sake of the time. For all the law is fulfilled. All the law is fulfilled in one word. Even this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Now, <clears throat> let's go to the 13th chapter of the book of Romans. Verse 9. For this thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. For if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There it is again. It is all over both covenants. Look them up and count them sometime. There's a, a bunch of them that thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Praise God. 
So now let's go back over here to the book of the law in Deuteronomy. Verse 28. Now, there's, there's always been uh, controversy and a lot of preaching done from the, from the curse of the law that, that God will do all these things to you and God will do this and God will do that to you and he'll curse you and he'll kill you and all that. Don't start in chapter 28. Go to chapter 27. Now, here, here's a covenant people that don't know anything about the covenant and they don't know anything about the curse. They've never heard that. They're coming out of Egypt. They had to be taught. Moses and the priests and the Levites spake unto all of Israel, saying, Take heed and hearken, and so forth. Moses charged the people, saying, These shall stand upon Mount Gerizim to bless the people, and these shall stand upon Mount Ebal to curse the people. He divided, he divided uh, six of the tribes on one side and six on the other. And there are two big mountains there. Now, you have to remember, there's a lot of people out here that day. And that one side would shout the blessing. The other side would shout the curse mm -hmm. so that they would get a concept of faith in God, that God wants to bless you. He does not want to curse you. But if you start it right there at the 28th uh, chapter on the first, and, and two, th those two mountains are still there today. And the cursed side is just bare bone. And the blessing side is beautiful, lush and green. So it was, it was a picture example to them. And now, but it shall come to pass if you will hearken diligently, say that, hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. This is the voice of the Lord thy God. Because see, we have it. Amen. This, this covenant is written down. So you, it, it, the command was write down the commandment so that you can run with it. What verse are you on? A 28 one. 28, Deuteronomy 28, 28 one. 28 one. It shall come to pass if you shall hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if you'll hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. I wrote in the, in the reference column, Romans 13, 9, Galatians 5, 14, John 15, 12. Love your neighbor. What verse says hearken? 28.1. 28, 28.1. One. I wanted to show them something that they might not know. You see that, how you spell hearken? 28.1. It says, hear Ken. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I've got it circled in my Bible. <laughs> <laughs> one word. In other words, practice what you preach. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gloria. We really need it. <laughs> I thought so. I like it. <laughs> I gave her to you for your humility. Dad. Yes. <laughs> it works. It works. Oh, y'all. And it says in the eighth verse, I love this, the Lord shall command the blessing upon yeah, you in like your that. storehouses yeah, and in all that you set your hand unto, and he will bless you in the land Praise of the Lord God. thy God giveth thee if you love your neighbor as yourself. Praise God. Praise That's God. good, isn't it? Boy, it all, it all comes together, doesn't it? I want to live in your storehouse. Huh? I want to live in your storehouse. Okay. Blessing <laughs> is commanded. You are the treasure in my storehouse, dear. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and verse 10, all of the people of the earth shall see that thou art called 
by the name of the Lord and they will be afraid of you. And that's the reason everybody else was afraid of them because they prospered beyond yeah. measure. Yeah. What did they see? They saw the blessing on them. Yes, they did. Yes, yes they did. So love is the key issue Amen. because God is love. Let's go over to 1 John and we'll check that out. Little John. Little John. Thank you, Lord. Okay. First John, what? Okay. Come over. Oh, there was something. Thank you, Lord, for reminding me of that. I want to go back there and read that in, uh, in, in the book of Romans. In, the, in that, that 13th chapter, in the 10th verse, love works no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Love works no ill to his neighbor. That says it all. That does it? say it, doesn't yeah. it? You know, I remember one time uh, when we lived, oh, not where we do now, but uh, over there on Skylink Drive. Mm -hmm. And our neighbor, he was, a, he, he was a pilot for Braniff Airlines. And he had a dog. That dog barked. Great big German shepherd. You could hear that rascal. I mean, and just wake you up in the night. So, <laughs> and he, he's, he's such a good guy. And one night, I mean, it was just too much. So I thought, do I wait till in the morning? I said, no, that dog got me awake. He can wake up. <laughs> so I called him. He answered the phone. I said, uh, I'm, I called him by his name. I said, this is Kenneth. Oh, hey, Brother Copeland. <laughs> I said, uh, your dog is not being a good neighbor. <laughs> oh, no. He said, is she waked you up again? I said, yes, sir. But I, I said, I, normally I wouldn't say anything to you about it. But she, he said, I will take care of it. Thank you for calling me. But I didn't call him over there and start ripping into him over his dog. You don't do that. He, and then not, uh, it, it would have been the same had I not known him because he's right next door. And uh, there, then at, at our vacation home up in Colorado, there was, uh, which we sold last year. It was the end of an era. And anyway, and very, very sweet people bought the place. And so anyway, there was a woman built a house right next door. So now she's our neighbor. Well, I didn't know it was just a she until, well, I think I did anyway. She was a retired colonel in the United States Army in the JAG Corps. She was a lawyer. And so we went next door to talk to our neighbor. And we saw right quick, we needed a witness to this girl. <laughs> she needed Jesus. And so... And then we found out later that her mother was sick. Mm -hmm. So we went over to see her again and to pray for her mother. So you love your neighbor as yourself. Well, you need to find out who your neighbor is right. and lead them to Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Every time you get the chance to witness. Then you'll have a good neighborhood. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, that's, that was the whole plan uh, for Israel to have a good neighborhood if they, live, if they love their neighbor as, as themselves yeah. because the devil hates them. Yeah. God really hasn't changed his idea about that because that was the whole plan for the Garden of Eden. Yes, it was. was for it to be this, it was just a small place that was not chaotic. Yeah. And it was, they were supposed to take their dominion and expand that. And then later in the book of Isaiah, it talks about the covenant being the Eden covenant. 
to bring back the Garden of Eden in, by faith. That's his kingdom. We talked about last week, his kingdom always increasing. He's never changed that either. We're the ones that have backed off from that idea. Really, even the way we view the end times is sort of a, oh, I guess we'll just limp out of here. <laughs> That's no, not no. what he wants. No, That's no, not no. what he says. They didn't limp out of Egypt. No. The scripture says there was not one feeble one among them. So anybody crippled, anybody sick, I don't care how old you were, you walked out of there straight up. You received your healing on the way out. We have an apostolic assignment to take this world and love them and bring them to Jesus. That's John 17. Yes. He's going to have his way. Yes. No question about that. His way is the way. It's, happen it's going to happen. He's not in the way. He is the way. <laughs> we get to decide if we're going to be part of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Praise God. I'm in. <laughs> and um, well, and let's let's go back over there now to First uh, John, where we're talking about that the, in First John. Oh, this little book. The, I, the, the Lord instructed me um, year before last to just read this whole book every day. Read it every day. And every day I marked no, something new. Every day there was something new. And uh, he that saith, I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. Now you're back to loving your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, now, it, let, let's go. Oh, there's so much of it. Help me, Lord. In the third, he, he only highlights the good part. <laughs> See that? Amen. Look in the third chapter. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knows us not because it knew Him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know. We then when he shall appear, we shall be like him, and we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him purifies himself even as he is pure. Yes. So expecting him to return and always expecting him every day, like my mother used to say, Kenneth, he's coming this year. <laughs> if she was here now, she'd tell she first thing she'd say, he's coming this year. Yeah. I'd say, Mother, you said that last year. She says, yeah, but he's coming this year. <laughs> every year she said that. Every year she said that. Mm -hmm. Well, a person that is always expecting his return, it'll purify you. Amen. You know, Dad, the, as the Bible talks about in Revelations that the, the seals are open on the book and we're seeing more things right now, I think, I, more now than I've ever seen in my whole life in Revelation. And, and even though his appearing in the rapture is coming, He's appeared, he's opening our eyes to him more now. He's manifesting us into those sons and daughters now. Now. That will be doing yes, the John 17 work. I know we're out of time. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jeremy. Happy New Year again, son. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Papa. God is love. And we are to walk in that love. Like Brother Copeland said, this is not a New Year's resolution. Walking in love is a commandment from God. The Bible says faith works by love. It says love serves one another. It says love your neighbor as yourself. So it's not just for the beginning of a new year. Living in God's love is good instruction for life. You have a free resource to help you study and apply the Bible-based truths you just heard. Download the BVOV broadcast study notes today at kcm.org notes. Collect the notes from each week and use them in a group Bible study. Use the message outline to teach from. Discuss the scriptures and key points with your family of believers. Gain understanding from all the teachings on the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. Get the whole week of notes today at kcm.org notes. 
God only says good things over your life. When you think, act, and speak the word for your health, family, and finances, that's what you'll have. But compromising the word of God will inevitably lead to failure. God's Word Final Authority is a CD teaching by Kenneth Copeland that will help you make the decision to never compromise the Word again. Jesus, the Word in flesh, is your covenant partner. When you understand the covenant rights He bought and paid for you to have, you can take hold of them. He has a good future for you, one of health, mental and emotional wholeness, and financial freedom. Don't compromise and don't quit. Release the power of God's Word as your first and last word in every situation and watch the Word go to work for you. The Word is where your victory starts. Align your heart and words with God's Word to live in His victory and overcoming faith. Request your free copy of Kenneth Copeland's CD series, God's Word Final Authority. Learn to make God's Word final authority in your life and how everything you think, say, or do can agree with God's Word to bring about His promises for you. Go to kcm.org slash TV special or call 800-600-7395. Offer good for 60 days. If you're outside the U.S., shipping charges may apply. Contact your regional office for more information. The 2022 Southwest Believers Convention is scheduled for August 1st through August 6th at the Fort Worth Convention Center in downtown Fort Worth, Texas. So make your plans to be there. Now, this is Kenneth Copeland Ministries' big hometown event. And 2022 is KCM's 55th year of ministry. And you know there will be a big celebration at the Southwest Believers Convention. So you've got to be there. Come to this six-day event. Join Kenneth and Gloria Copeland, Jerry Savelle, Jesse Duplantis, Creflo Dollar, Bill Winston, Keith Moore, Terry Copeland Pearsons, and others for praise and worship and the preaching of the word. And there are children and youth services, so bring the whole family, immerse yourself in the word of God in a spirit-charged atmosphere of faith. And you use this time to build your faith, grow in the revelation of the word, be refreshed on the inside. And there are no admission fees. All of the sessions are free to attend. For more information on the Southwest Believers Convention and to pre-register, go to kcm.org and make your plans to be in this great meeting. And whatever you do in this year, get the Word of God going into your life through things like the Southwest Believers Convention, other KCM events, and by doing what you're doing right now, feeding on the Word as it comes through the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. Praise God. There are good things yet to come. Thanks for joining us today, everybody. We'll see you again soon. Until then, remember, God loves you and we love you. And Jesus is Lord. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Watch the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast free on kcm.org or KCM's Roku channel. If you would like a free copy of the broadcast to put into your faith library, you can download it on kcm.org or request it on DVD or CD. Keep your heart full of the Word of God and continue to grow in faith. Every believer has a voice, and it is the voice of victory.